everybody. Welcome to another video. So, this is Alex of Brilliant Performance, and under the car is Moody of Performance Unleashed. Hey guys. The production one. Um, this one actually will need to be turned, one side will need to be turned uh, about 90 degrees from the other one, but that's about it. Right, so other than that, you'll be okay. Um, so now, let's look at what we need to do. So first things first, to, you have to get this turbo out to replace an oil re return line. So you'd be possibly looking at maybe upgrading the 70 to the 72 or 76 or whatever else reason you want to take the turbo out. Uh, the re you know, this would be wh what you go about doing. First thing you need to do is to loosen the up pipe from your, um, your stock exhaust manifold on the passenger side and then you'll be able to have enough room to get to everything else. So that's what Moody's working on at the moment. So right now I'm getting at the difficult bolt for the uh, exhaust the cats to the downpipe. Fortunately, we don't have a shallow socket right now, but that's what you're going to end up needing to use to get this bolt out if you've already tightened it. So don't tighten this until you're done with everything else. But what you're going to end up having to do is you're going to take these two bolts or these two nuts off right here or you're going to loosen them just so that this pipe is now you know not too solid um, and then we're going to go back up and remove the turbo. All you need to do is loosen it so that you have a little bit of wiggle room. You don't have to take it off completely. All right, let's go ahead and do that, and we'll get right back to you. All right, so now that we're back up top, we need a 10 millimeter here for the two and a half inch uh, B band, and then we need a 13 millimeter here for the three inch in the ground pipe. So we just need to go ahead and loosen these back up. All right, that's off basically, and now let's just swap to the 13, which is actually in my pocket. All right, so now we prepped. <laughs> before doing this. Ooh, there we go. Alright, we are in business. So now that we have the things off, we can go ahead and take the turbo off. Alright guys, so installing and removing your oil return line from the turbo, you're going to need an Allen socket or an Allen key. Um, this one is a 6mm, so you're going to need that for these two bolts over here. It makes it a lot easier to just remove the bolts with the whole plate and then take everything off then taking the line off itself from yeah. the plate. And if you remember what we talked about last time that actually it's impossible to do because of the where the compressor housing is. Exactly. So make sure you don't lose these bolts. They have washers. Make sure you don't lose the washers. And then, you also have this gasket. Don't lose that. <laughs> Don't lose any of this stuff, otherwise you will have problems and, you know, you're going to have to call us up. We're going to be like, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> so, take this off. And here's the difference between the uh, production and prototype one. As you can see, the prototype is a little bit shorter, so we had a little bit of an issue uh, mounting it up to the drain pan. And also we didn't have, we had a 45 versus a 90. Exactly. So. so your new one is going to come like this. If it does not, you need to make sure that one end is facing one direction and the other end is exactly opposite. So like an S. Okay. It needs to be 180 degree opposite each other. I'm going to tighten this up. as you can so it doesn't leak. We don't need uh, Teflon tape on that because it's a uh, AN fitting. Good point. Gasket goes on the bottom. You might need to, you want to grip that, you want to hit it with a your wrench first.
Nice. Yeah. You really don't want this to ever leak. So. No, because you will have to take the turbo out if it does. Yep. <laughs> Which we showed you how to do, but you still don't want to ever have to take anything out. You want that turbo to stay on the car for the rest of the play. Yeah. Unless you're okay. You know. Maybe it's not enough boost. And so, when you're mounting it, you want to make sure that the line is facing the compressor housing or the front. And when you're putting these on, always start them by hand. So that you don't cross thread them, everything's fitting on properly. And also, you'll have to go ahead and possibly reorient the uh, AN fitting itself just to make sure that it should be sitting flush with the compressor housing. Yep. Gasket on first. Now you see that we're good. The gasket's lined up, flush with the housing. A couple of is on one side. Agadug is on the other. Make sure everything's sitting flush. Give it a second round. And you're good to go. Perfect. All right, now this turbo is ready to go back in the car. Super easy. All right, turbo is back in. So, I know we went over it last time, but just in case you guys forgot, what you wanna do is you take your oil return line, you can see it right here. You wanna pass it right underneath this radiator hose and it goes around the front and down underneath, uh, just behind, uh, you know, around the pulley there. And so I'm going to pass the camera down to Moody so he can show you how to hook it back up. All right, so from the sump right here, your line is going to go up above the other two oil cooler lines. It's going to go up and above. There's not much lighting, but right here, it's going to go above and then in front you can kind of see it snaking up right here where my finger is and then it's going to go in front of the pulley so that it doesn't hit it uh, it's hard to find but right here so this is your line from the sump all the way up in front this is your pulley where my fingers right are the line is going to bend itself away from the pulley so you'll be fine and then you'll just snake it up or down, whichever the case may be, to the turbo. All right. And then the last thing you'll do from the top is when you come back and look at your lines again, you'll see that you have your oil return line here and you've got your line for your, you see that right there? Uh, you've got your line there for also your oil cooler. Just go ahead and do a light. You don't have to tighten it very hard. Just a zip tie around that, right in the area where they, they kind of meet up together. Um, that will make sure that your oil return line never hits your pulley, never hits your belt, nothing. All right, so that's all you need to do. And that is how you finish putting your turbo back in your vehicle.